Tick, mic lock. Finish with mic lock. Mic trigger. Button. Okay, I'm back. <coughs> I'm going into the practice hub, which, like I told you, it is past homework. It is not learning new lessons. It is not going to advance me through the German course more. It's going to continue giving me lessons until I'm really sick of the practice hub, in which case I can go through the German course a bit more. And this is the case for each language course on Duolingo. So, practice hub. Weekly, two slash, five days left. Mistakes, re review, start plus, plus. Start plus 2 XP, button. There is a mistake that I need to fix. Start plus. So I'm going to fix that ellipsis. now. Quit, button. I'm going to get rid of voiceover because it's being fucking annoying. Zero percent percent through the lesson. Oh, fuck off. Braille fine. output, eight dot. Get. Braille output, braille output, six dot. Mm. Speech off. I'm off. I don't like you at the moment, voiceover. Continue. Do most. So it's do milest is you paint. So I somehow fucked that one up. Uh, I somehow fucked that up. Did it again, I fucked it again. Oh, I just wrote contracted braille and I stuffed it. You're not meant to write contracted braille in six dot braille mode because it doesn't <coughs> it doesn't work. So I fixed that mistake. Now, I can have a choice of, so I've done a mistakes review. Now, I can either do perfect pronunciation where it says, tackle mispronounced words and more. Now that's 20 XP points. Or I can do listen up. Retry listening exercises you missed and more. And that's 20 XP points. Um, if I do the listening up exercises, I will get quicker and quicker and quicker and faster and faster until I can understand exactly what is being said. And um, so I don't know what to choose. Um, I guess I could do the missed, I mean, mispronounced words, I guess. Anyway, let's try it. And this is homework, so you can do this pretty much all night. You know, if you've made a mistake once or 15 times, you go, right, go to the practice hub and review those mistakes over and over again until you get it right. That's what Duolingo is all about. It's all about learning. It is all about learning. So if something's too hard, quit the lesson and go to the practice hub and restart the lesson later when you've got the mistakes all correct. Um, you can only start this practice mode with your microphone on. Um, no, I don't think so. No, I don't. No, I don't want to do that actually. Nope. <coughs> I will just do the listening up exercises. We have to listen and write. Spra. What do you hear? Spra. Spra. Sounds like spra. 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 Oh, Sie leben in Deutschland, Frau Merkel. So tap what you hear. It said. Oh, Sie leben in Deutschland, Frau Merkel. Oh, Sie leben in Deutschland. Frau Merkel. Oh, I'm slowly getting it. So it's... Oh. 
Sie. Leben. In. Deutschland. Frau. Merkel. So this means, oh, you live in Germany, Miss Merkel. Um, and then she would speak and c carry on if she wanted to. So the word Z is the word like you and Zind is are, you know, they are, you are. Eh. Eh. So the diacritic A is air. Yeah. Frau Merkel, Sie leben in Deutschland, aber ich lebe in Kanada. So, this is the lessons I did yesterday in Unit 2 of the questions section. And this practice hub is merely going over these same lessons that I completed. So, <coughs> if you do a lesson and do really crap at your lesson, Complete it anyway, and then come to the practice hub. Because, you know, if you don't do any of this, you're never going to progress through the language courses, ever. Because then you'll give up in it and say, Oh, I don't like Duolingo because I can't learn anything. It's just, you know, it's too hard, and it doesn't let me fix my mistakes. Yada, yada, yada. Well... It doesn't let you fix your mistakes just by you doing lessons and then not doing any homework. Of course, it won't do that. But if you do your homework and then repeat the lessons, you'll end up getting it all right eventually. So this says, tap what you hear. Frau Merkel, Sie leben in Deutschland, aber ich lebe in Kanada. So in German, if you translate to English, it's Ms. Merkel, you live in Germany and I live in Canada. So then you hear the German translation like this. Frau Merkel, Sie leben in Deutschland, aber ich lebe in Kanada. And just a caution to one of my subscribers. This is, this is a, you know, spoil alert um, thing. So unless you want to be spoiled, maybe you don't want to hear it if you want to continue studying the German course and yet you don't want to be spoiled um, for some reason unless you need to know things then listen to it but if you rather learn it yourself without any spoil alerts then maybe this isn't the recording for you <laughs> but otherwise listen at your own enjoyment <coughs> so I have to tap what it says so I buggered this up a couple of times because I tapped on all the words and didn't realize I missed a few words in the phrase in the sentence. Frau Merkel Sie Leben in Deutschland. Oh, that's right. The word for like Zizin and Dorbist, I think that's in different contexts because Zizin is for like older people and people who are in in authority, and Dorbist is like you are for friends and family. So. If I'm speaking to a friend, I'm likely to say, Hallo, bist du Maria? If I'm speaking to someone I really respect because they're really old, you know, they're older than me or their um, authority, I would say, Hallo, sind Sie Maria? Which is, are you Maria? So if I'm speaking to friends and family, I'm likely to say, um, du bist, and then whatever other words like you, cold, hot, you know, 
um, but to someone in authority who you respect, they're older, etc., older, not necessarily friends and family, but like strangers, it's Zin or Zin Z, so are you or you are. Aber ich lebe in Kna <coughs> Kna Esin Asha Asha U U Ach So now we're practicing German sounds Ach and their associated lettering So Ach is A T S C H and Ach Sorry, ach is a u c. I mean, a c h. And if you say the word also, which is auch, it's a u c h. Nee. So, nee. Nee. Which means never in German as well. They've gotten rid of that noise from Duolingo for some reason. You moved up in the diamond level. I don't care. I don't want to know about that right now. Just want to do more homework before I finish the um, hobbies and direction sections of Era. Duolingo. More sounds here. Kommen Sie aus Schweden, Herr Nobel? So now we've got to do another tap watcher here, which is uh, common. Kommen Sie aus Schweden, Herr Nobel. Kommen Sie aus Sweden, Sweden. Kommen Sie aus Schweden, Herr Nobel. Herr Nobel. So do you come from Sweden, Mr. Nobel? That's what it's trying to say <laughs> using Trans so I'm gonna come common Z Z Aus Schweden Schweden okay let's say that is Schweden Herr Herr Kommen Sie aus Schweden Herr Nobel Oh, where's the name of this guy? Nobel. Nobel. Kommen Sie aus Sweden. Kommen Sie aus Sweden, Herr Nobel. Evie. Nobel. Kommen Sie aus Sweden, Herr Nobel. That's how you say it. Evie. Because <coughs> W is the in German, so Sweden. Kommen Sie aus Sweden, Herr Nobel? No, no, I'm getting it all wrong. No, oh, not oh, it is oh. Kommen Sie, kommen Sie aus Sweden, Herr Nobel? Yes, that's better pronunciation. Anna, bist du Schülerin? Anna bist Anna bist du du Schülerin 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 Lebst du in Österreich Anna So clearly this Anna is a friend character because if it was Zizin it would have been a you know, authority person, whereas Anna is probably just a friend. Chat what you hear. Lebst du in Österreich, Anna? Lebst du in Österreich, Anna? 
lebst. Du. In. Österreich. Lebst du in Österreich, Anna? Anna. So it's do you live in Austria, Anna? Okay. Herr Bergmann, kommen Sie aus Schweden? <coughs> Herr Bergmann, kommen Sie aus Schweden? Herr. Bergmann. Oh, Bergmann. Herr Bergmann, kommen... Kommen. Sie? Sie. Aus. Aus. Schweden. 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 So, Herr Bergmann must be an authority figure if they are saying kommen sie aus Schweden because if Herr Bergmann was just a friend they would say bist they would say that if it was just a typical friend it would be Herr Bergmann um comes to comes to aus from um Sweden sorry Frank Reich that's France I got it wrong so if you're a friend it is comes to aus Sweden and if you're a respectable authority figure someone you who you know you're a stranger they're old older than you are common z aus sweden sind sie polizistin frau graf sind sie Polizistin. Frau. <coughs> Graf. Are you a police officer, Miss Graf? That's what it is in German. Herr Schiller, well, sind Sie Anwalt? In English. In English. So. Herr. Schiller. Sind. Sie. Anwalt. Anwalt is lawyer. Mila, kommst du aus Russland? So it's when they say Mila, kommst du aus Russland? They're basically saying, Miller, do you come from Russia? But Miller is a friend, not a lawyer or a policeman or someone. Miller. Kommst. Du. Aus. Russland. Russland. Anna, bist du Künstlerin? <coughs> Anna, bist du Künstlerin? Anna, bist du Künstlerin? Oh, got that wrong, hang on. Künstlerin. Oh, hang on, no, wait. No, I didn't get it wrong. Kün so, when they say, are you an artist, it is bist du Künstlerin, Künstlerin, and if it's a Chancellor, it is 
Zinzi Kanzlering. <laughs> Not the tongue roll at all. Zinzi Kanzlering. So if you're the ca- Chancellor, it is Zinzi Kanzlering. If you're an artist, it's Bist du Kuslin. So are you an artist is Bist du and are you a can- Chancellor is Zinzi because an artist doesn't get treated with as much authority and respect as a Chancellor. <coughs> so if I say to the next door neighbour, um, you're hungry, I would be more like Zihab Haba Zihab Hunger, whereas it, I need to say it again, Du hast Hunger is for, you know, neighbours, friends, family, for people like police officer, paramedic, lawyer, etc., or an older person or a stranger, it is Z Haben Hunger, Hunger. Yeah, I don't care if I moved up in the Diamond League. I don't care. Don't give a shit. Frau Merkel ist Kanzlerin. Hm. Frau. Again, this is past Merkel. homework. Lessons that I've already done. Kanzlerin. Wie heißen Sie? (coughs) And it updates you on spelling and grammar as well, which is really good. So by the time you get to harder lessons in German, you kind of have all the basic words down pat. Always use the practice hub. If you're having a hard time with advancing through your course, Stop advancing through the course. Stop moving up whatever current level 35, you know, advanced tree branch that you're on in the course. Step off it for a few days and go to the practice hub. That's what it's there for. You need to stop climbing the tree if you're getting too tired and sit there and do your exercises and then start climbing the tree again. That's basically what the moral is to the story. Wie heißen Sie? So then there's the different conjunctions of what, which is V and was. So now we're doing the V heißen. Heißen. Sie. Sie. <coughs> I'm sure that you can use the word door somewhere but I'm not advanced enough to use door with you know high set heist and heist I think it is door heist but I haven't got to that level of saying door heist so if you're a friend I'm going to say door heist you know so and so whoever your name is if you're a lawyer if you're someone who Anna, is bist du Schülerin? a stranger, then I'm going to say Z Heisen. And whatever the name is, you are. Or um, it, it just goes on and I'll be moving up the levels of this tree after I do a few practice lessons of this homework. Practice Hub. Anna, bist du Schülerin? Anna. Bist du Schülerin? I think the German word Schüler is the school student version of Student. So Student and Studenten, just like Schüler and Schülerin, 
So Shulain is the female person for a school student and Shula is the male person, you know, version for a male school student and student is, university student male and studentin is a female student male. So, hang on. Anna bist du schulerin? Schulerin. Anna bist du schulerin? Anna bist du schulerin? Ja, bist du schulerin? Herr Kohl ist Kanzler. Herr Kohl ist Kanzler. Okay. Herr Kohl ist Kanzler. Und Sie, wie heißen Sie? Und Sie, wie? Sie. So, <coughs> this translates, and you, what is your name? Ja, ich spreche Englisch. Ja. Ich spreche Englisch. Freut mich sehr. Freut mich sehr. Freut, I'm getting that wrong. Freut mich sehr is very nice to meet you. So, freut mich sehr. So, Freud, Miss Sarah. Hmm. If I could speak real German, people might be able to actually respond to me properly because I don't speak proper German, so people just sit there like, Rrr. you're supposed to use different, you know, forms. I'm like, what? Eh? Huh? Say it again? You're tricking me. <laughs> But no, people are right. There are different sort forms of us. There are different forms of du. You know, zind is another one. Like, or z zind. Z is another one, I mean. English and Deutsch. <coughs> so, if a German person don't respond to you, you've probably used the wrong format of what you're meant to be saying in front of them somehow. They're like, what? Hang on, we're not friends or like school students. Oh shit! What you? Why are you acting like we're friends for? Whereas if you use the correct context, people are like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. It is so tricky to use German in exact context because if you use it wrong, people are like, oh my god, we are not husband and wife. We are not friends. Your maintenance worker is not your best friend. My God, why don't you speak properly? It's like, um, excuse me. I don't think I have very much experience with German to know that I'm not speaking properly. So, well, sorry, you know, es tut mir leid. Es tut mir leid. Aber, yes, the best thing is sorry, but, you know, I kind of can't speak very well at the moment so you'll have to put up with me until I can speak proper proper German <laughs> English and Deutsch oh god so I'm probably going to confuse some people who I speak to regularly for a little while and make them think um no is that hang on I mean it like this but I kind of said it wrong oops oops English. Because I'm not good with speaking proper German. Und <laughs> Deutsch. Sind Sie Anwältin, Frau Graf? What? So, if you said to a professor, Mr. Professor, 
uh, you'd get in so much trouble because, like, they're not your best friend. Unless they were your closest family member or best friend, then maybe you could say that. But you're supposed to say, Zin Zi, un un Sind Sie Anwältin, Frau Graf? Anwältin, Frau, Frau, Frau Graf. <sighs> Can't get it right. <laughs> so. Sind. You know, like if I spoke to the maintenance Sie. guy and said, you know, best to do, you know, like whatever, so and so, he'd be like, Ooh, we aren't best friends, talk. To me, like, we are, um, you know, Anwältin. not relationally best friends because we're not. It's like, hang on, um, excuse me, I ain't speaking properly because I'm no good at German. Do you not realise that? <laughs> um, so, yeah, you kind of have to be careful how you speak. Graf. certain forms of words in German to German people because they're going to go, um, you're kind of speaking to me like we're family and we're not relatives. Uh, please use different formats. I'm like, excuse me, mate, can you please have a look at this course and tell me if you can see what's actually wrong to make me learn these things wrong and then understand that I'm not learning properly because I'm having a difficult time. Please, mate. Please, please, please. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, well, you, me too. I don't mean to speak out of Herr context Jones, like that. Sie sprechen Englisch und ich spreche Deutsch. Because it comes out across as really rude. I'm like, oh, I don't mean to be rude or nasty. I don't mean it. Please have a look at the course. Please, you know, see what it's doing wrong. Please, please, please. Uh, uh, uh. Sure enough, he did. And went, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry too. I can't do this anymore. And he went, yes, you can. Don't be like that. Don't cry. Don't, you know, give up. Just keep learning. And maybe you need a break for a few weeks. You know, you don't mean to say anything rude. It's offensive. It's like, oh, don't say that. Don't, oh, don't be horrible. And... You know, it might make him react by not talking to me for a day because, it's like, oh, that's evil. Don't fucking say that. Oh, I hate you today. And I'm thinking, me too. I hate you as well because you don't understand that I'm having a hard time. But then eventually, um, you know, people are like, well, I suppose you don't mean to sound... Well, when I use broken German to talk to some, you know, the German guy, um, <coughs> who's a maintenance guy, yeah, I sometimes get it out of context. And I don't know how to say, um, I don't know how to say, um, don't um, mow the grass on my lawn because on my, you know, at the front area of my unit because sometimes dogs can go the loo there. I don't know how to say that. So I sort of use broken words like the word Hund in German is for dog and then like grass, plants, garden. And he's like, what? I'm like, well, <laughs> I would just tell you, you know, just leave the grass there in case the doggies have to go to the toilet, guide dogs. And I'm like, don't ask me to say it in German because I'm no good at it. Just don't. Like, seriously don't. Just let me learn a bit more before you go testing me. Herr Jones, Sie sprechen Englisch und ich spreche Deutsch. Oh, jeez. <coughs> Herr Jones, Sie sprechen Englisch und ich spreche Deutsch. Herr Jones, Sie sprechen Englisch 
und ich. Spreche Deutsch. So, again, this Herr Johns, Johns is how they say it, is J-O-N-E-S. We say Jones, but they say Johns. Herr Johns must be a authority figure because if he was just a friend, you would be using like dual bist or bist to dual, you know, depending if you're asking a question. And if you're... Someone older, stranger, it's Z again. So, and because I'm really rubbish at speaking German properly, people are taking it all wrong. Like, oh God, why do you say that? I'm like, say what? I don't know what you think I said. I don't have a clue. Because I don't even know what I'm meant to be saying. I'm just trying to fucking speak here and it isn't working. Oh, it isn't working. This is boring. Even though I like learning languages, I just scream when I'm really angry. This is so freaking boring. This isn't working. This is just so fucking boring. Oh. And that's what I'm like when I uh, get frustrated. Now I'd like to know where I am in the Diamond League. Oh, don't freeze like this, you bloody stupid thing. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, the next challenge is bloody, um... <coughs> getting into the Hebrew stuff. Oh, my God. Because Hebrew is a tricky language, so is Arabic. Oh my god. So, <sighs> there are four days left in the Diamond League. At the top is number one, is 80 underscore 2, and he's at 1789 XP points. Number two is Lin Lin, and they are at 1742 points. Number three is Tommy. He is at 780. Number four is Re Reto. 638. Number five is me. I am at 569. So I need to beat 638 on number four's spot to get into the top three in the Diamond League. And what time is it now? It's 9.08 p.m. Oh, I could probably stay up a bit longer and, you know, keep working away at Duolingo. So I'm in the top five of the Diamond League right now. So let's try and finish off the... <coughs> I want to finish off the hobbies and directions sections. I wonder if I can do it tonight. Um, yeah, I'll finish off this recording and then I will do another recording. Paper, 99%, adjustable. I actually want to record myself live on YouTube. 39, finish recording, button. Live on YouTube. Um... Going, crawling up the um, XP board. Crawling up the experience points board. The leaderboard. I'm in the top five in the Diamond League. This is pretty bloody impressive. It is very impressive. So I've done the job. So the courses are, the 